Well, good afternoon, YouTube. Happy Thanksgiving to all my uh, U.S. subscribers. And I mentioned a couple weeks ago when I did a video on my little 12-volt uh, fridge freezer that I use it around this time of year. So I have my turkey in here, briny. Shut it off. So I have my turkey in the... Uh, in the fridge, actually I defrosted it here for the last couple of days. I didn't have a, I was planning to get a turkey breast, but I couldn't find one, so I ended up with a, about a 12 pound turkey. Uh, I put it in the brine last night. Uh, brine is one gallon of water, one and a half cups of kosher salt, half cup of brown sugar, some bay leaves, a uh, tablespoon of allspice, tablespoon of black peppercorns, and some dried rosemary leaves. Uh, the rosemary and the bay leaf are both uh, things that I picked up uh, out in the uh, around my place here. So, kind of a do-it-yourself brine, partly. And so I'm just getting ready to take the turkey out of here let it uh, get it ready to put in the smoker and I'll show you that in a minute okay YouTube I got the uh, got the smoker going it's uh, not quite putting out full smoke yet but I got the turkey loaded in there and I usually drop that down I keep it around oh, around 200 250 on the temperature and run that for about two hours I have the this is a side smoker, so you got the fire over there. You can probably see that. That's where all the smoke is. I've got to get it adjusted here. It takes a little while. So what I do is I usually leave it in the smoker for about two hours. That seems to be the... You get the maximum amount of smoke flavor. And then I'll pull it out of here. And I finish it off inside take it inside, put it in the oven with a temperature probe, convection oven, and it takes so oh, another hour and a half, two hours. And I used to try to cook it all the way in here, but it takes a lot of time to keep the, you know, you got to keep the temperature uh, controlled pretty well and check the temperature of the meat and you know it's like six eight hours worth of work and it's just so much easier to smoke it for you know about two hours and then throw it in the oven and finish it and you got to cook all your other other goodies too so I'll show you one of my other little uh, what I call my healthy Thanksgiving recipes and we'll uh, we'll show you that in a little bit here so yeah hi again YouTube got the smoker smokers kind of stabilized down around 250 Fahrenheit and I'm just throwing together my uh, this is kind of my healthy alternative for uh, kind of replace your mashed potatoes and stuffing and all that stuff what I've been eating lately is a lot of brown rice and so what I do to make it a little little different is I throw in a little bit of wild rice in there so I've got one measure of rice and I throw a little poultry seasoning and some garlic and pepper in there. No real recipe, just as much as you want. Then I throw in some onions, celery, and mushrooms all diced up pretty fine. Get that all in there. And I'll get that the rest of that later. And just give it a kind of mix it up. And this kind of makes like a wild rice stuffing sort of. I need to add a, probably another one and a half measures of uh, chicken stock. Either do chicken or turkey stock. And then all you have to do is throw that in the rice cooker. This is the uh, uh, bowl out of my rice cooker. Uh, put it on the brown rice setting and hit start and it's ready to go. 
I usually start this. It takes about an hour and 40 minutes. So I find if I start the rice cooker, as soon as I take the turkey out of the smoker and put it in the oven, everything finishes all together. And this, this is nice. There's no salt other than, I imagine there's a little salt in the, uh, and a little bit of fat in the chicken stock, but I don't add any salt. I don't add any fat. There's no butter in there. Uh, and it's high fiber. And you could probably use a vegetable stock if you wanted to, if you wanted it uh, vegetarian. And this is, I find this is really good. I think it's better than stuffing and, and uh, it's easier to cook. That's it. You put it in the rice cooker and hit start. <laughs> and it cooks itself. You don't have to stir it or turn it around in the oven or do any of that. And it's ready to go. So I'll show you when I get... Uh, the turkey out of the oven. I just let that soak a little bit. The rice kind of soaks up the chicken stock for a couple hours and I'll get it all ready to go and throw it in the well, oven. It's, it's been about two hours. Let's take a look at the turkey, see how the smoke did. I think that looks like it's ready to go. I'll go get the oven warmed up and we'll throw the turkey inside get things going. Yeah, hello YouTube. Time for uh, Thanksgiving dinner. I've got a few other things here, but the the brown and wild rice kind of stuffing replacement came out really well. The turkey finished. It's been resting and is ready to get sliced. And I had to test a piece and it came out pretty good. I hope you all had a good happy Thanksgiving, at least in the U.S. and all the other folks watching this around the world, hope you had a good day. It was uh, actually unusually warm here. I got the house actually warmed up with the solar heat over 70 degrees Fahrenheit. It hit almost, I think it was a little over 71. First time in several weeks that it's been up that high. So we've got a nice warm house tonight. And it's time for dinner, so thanks for watching. Hope you had a good Thanksgiving or Thursday, as the case may be. And I'll try to get this video uploaded, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.